Hey guys, I'm Leon and welcome back to speed build videos. It, 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 they're fun, I guess. So today I'm back on the same lot I was before, but this time is a little different. Today I am building a treehouse. So I thought that would be a really interesting idea uh, or a fun idea f uh, for a house. So uh, I was thinking about it for a while now and uh, I just had to build it. Like I just... I just had to, so here I am. Also, it's not as easy as you might think it is. I had a lot of problems with it, uh, but uh, they're all solved. I solved them, and uh, yeah. So uh, here we go. So this, a little bit about the house. I forgot to open the gallery page. Sorry, I'm gonna bring that up. It's built on the lot 20 by 20. Oh, geez, uh, the sims.com. Oops, I'm spelling everything. Ugh, spelling today, it's it's horrible. Let's go to steps. Well, ugh. Everything is just not the sense.com. Why are you not loading? Here we go. So it's built on lot uh, 20 by 20. Uh, it has, uh, uh, it costs, I think, 40 ish, 40 ish thousand simoleons. 40 ish. We gotta uh, circle it on that. So, uh, yeah, it's a fun house. It's a little bit cramped, but you know, it's a tree house, so you can't really expect it to be a, a, a mansion sized. Um, house because it's a tree house, you know, it's a normally a small house because you can't really fit a big because you can't really fit a big house on the tree or in the middle of the tree or whatever you want. So, uh, yeah, so I kind of uh, went with uh, that. Uh, let, let me see how much exactly does it cost 47,311 simoleons. So, that 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 money will get you this tree house. So, it has one bedroom and one bathroom. Uh, of course, because it's really small, and also uh, you'll see that I uh, a bit later in the video you will see that I uh, been um, I will be adding and removing trees as well, uh, uh, so I can see how it would actually look like. And you will see that uh, I built a, a second floor here, as you can see, but I couldn't really find a sweet spot for stairs; uh, they were just in the way all the, all the time. So, and you will see this second floor will disappear and will. Pretty much be uh, here on this level so it's not gonna be on the ground for a floor it's gonna be on the uh, floor above the ground floor if that makes any sense uh, you'll see it in a second I promise you'll see it so here here we go uh, putting the trees in uh, and you will notice that uh, these trees are, uh, of course I resized the trees because I needed to do that um, so uh, because they were all really small so they couldn't really like fit in their actual size uh, to like support the entire, uh, like um, you know, to support the entire house. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, so uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so building the shape of the house here, that it doesn't stay like that. Uh, it's gonna change a little bit. Uh, also, uh, you the reason why I actually put the second floor on the floor below the main floor. It, Gets confusing right now, but the reason why I did that because uh, branches on all trees. Uh, I tried a couple of trees, and branches were just like uh, the trunks weren't uh, long enough, so like branches on the second floor were already like expanding, so uh, it didn't really work out. So you couldn't really see anything, although it would be functional, but you couldn't really like see anything in it. And also, that was a really horrible idea for me uh, because I couldn't really furnish it if I. So, because I can't really furnish anything if I can't see it. So uh, that was the problem here. I've been having some problems. Uh, stairs kept disappearing if I removed this floor, so that was really annoying. But I figured it. I figured it out eventually. So um, there we go. Uh, yeah. So that's everything about the house. Also, it's 2016. It's uh, I'm rec I'm recording this voiceover on 4th of January of 2016. So happy new year, guys. Um, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, yeah, uh, my 2015 was pretty good, I think. Uh, I don't have any regrets. I mean, <laughs> come on, I don't have any regrets. Of course I do. Everybody has regrets. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, YouTube was pretty big. Uh, year 2015 was pretty big for m me and my YouTube channel. Uh, it has three stories now, but <laughs> I will be removing that third one. Uh, so yeah, uh, I... Uh, Starcube was probably one of my greatest creations ever, mainly because it has the most views and uh, because it pretty much 
put me here where where I am today. So uh, with if there weren't uh, without Star Cube, like none of this would have been possible. So I am still really uh, thankful for that, and I just can't express my gratitude enough. So. There you go. So, uh, also throughout the entire 2015, uh, by the way, Starter Cube was released uh, on, oh, or published, okay, was released on January 1st, 2015. So it had the whole year to pretty much do everything. So uh, throughout the entire year, Starter Cube reached over um, 30,000 views and it has over 100,000 minutes of watch time. So. Thank you all very much for uh, watching this video. I thought like, because first I didn't really put too much effort in this house because it was really small and uh, I didn't really have a lot of space to work with. So I know you, you can't really, no, like I have just like, like, let's say four squares of like workspace. So I can't really like think about it for like half an hour. What should I put here? Because I know that I can't fit anything else except for like a sofa and a chair. So. Uh, yeah, and uh, I just, I don't know, it, and, uh, so uh, I'm looking uh, at the analytics right now for uh, Starter Cube uh, about the um, views. Now watch, and go to views, there we go. So when I released it, it wasn't really too big or too small, it was like an average uh, video, no, look at that, an average for uh, the size of my channel when it was back then. So, um... It didn't really, uh, it wasn't, again, it was average. And then at the mid-February, that's where it like took off and it just like went crazy with uh, views. So it, and, and back, uh, back, back in those days for me, like it had over 200 views a day. And uh, back in the day, it, uh, that was really big for me and it still is uh, because I had like 30 subscribers maybe back then uh, back then so uh yeah because i started my channel i think in september when sims 4 was released uh, i did my very first sims 3 speed build it was a tropical modern uh, i really loved it though uh, i should probably get uh, i should probably get back into uh, building a sims 3 again uh, <laughs> i don't know let me guys uh, uh let me guys know what you'll think about it should i start building a sims 3 again or do i just continue on with Sims 4, of course, there'll be Sims 4 builds as well, but, you know, if you want that little taste of Sims 3 again, that'll be kind of nice. I don't know, I'll try doing something, but, like, remembering all those loading screens, they were so slow. Um, I just don't want to play Sims 3 <laughs> anymore, pretty much. Um, and yeah, it's also, well, let's not talk about the lag the game had when you had all expansion packs and stuff packs installed. That was the worst. So... Yeah, and uh, so let's go back into the starter queue because that's my main, like, my greatest creation ever. So it was great, so it kind of fell, like, to not being so popular anymore back in, like, uh, October-ish. And then it boosted off again in November and continued that through December, and here we are in 2016, uh, still continuing that uh, tradition. So thank you very much, guys, for uh, all of that support for Starter Cube. It's been great. I mean, it's still it, don't don't panic. It still is. I mean, uh, over it's probably gonna get old over time. Of course, it will be. Uh, but maybe I will create something else that's gonna be so big and um, continue Starter Cube's tradition. So uh, yeah, I will definitely not forget Starter Cube because if it weren't for Starter Cube, I would be like nowhere. I would probably like right now to this day. If there were no starter cube, I would probably have like 40 subscribers or something because the, uh, bro, uh, starter cube brought me all of like all the views and all of the audience. Uh, it brought you guys. So uh, if you're here for uh, for some other reason, if you saw my let's play or something, uh, thank you for that too. But uh, I'm mainly focused right now on starter cube. So uh, if starter cube brought you here, let me know in the comments. Uh, because I am so thankful that it did, and uh, uh, without you, I probably wouldn't have been on YouTube by now, because I would see it, oh, I've been already on YouTube for like a year, I have 40 subscribers, the channel is going nowhere, so I'm probably gonna stop, because it doesn't really make sense. And uh, here I am, I have almost 600 subscribers, and currently on 550, so 50 away from 600, so that's fun. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, where we are at the video anyway, I'm not even looking at the playback. I, should, I probably should. <laughs> Let's uh, go back to the treehouse. So, uh, uh, keeping it, uh, of course, all uh, wood themed because uh, the treehouse is wood, uh, made out of wood. So uh, yeah, also I used a cool kitchen uh, stuff back, of course, for the kitchen. Uh, because I really love the counters that, uh, that come with it. Uh, I think these are these are my favorites. Uh, they just look so good. I don't know why, but there's something in them that make me like use them every single time. And um, I don't blame it. I mean, I really like I really like them. Uh, so uh, yeah. Also, I will be putting a bar first. I put the island in there, but I uh, remember. Oh yeah, I could probably fit a bar in there. So I removed the island and put a bar. Uh, but also, it, it took me a little while to figure out which bar would fit it because Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack, guess what? Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack does not include a bar in it. So this means that none of the bars perfectly like matched uh, the counters and everything in the kitchen. So that was really annoying, but uh, I eventually figured it out. I, I found the I found one bar that oh, just just like that fit. Um, the counters and everything, uh, but it still isn't perfect. So uh, yeah, but it's the closest one I could get. So uh, yeah, so putting lights in. Uh, uh, for those who don't know, I always like to furnish. Although I was furnishing in daytime, but I also like to furnish more uh, in nighttime, just so I see how everything is uh, lit up. Because uh, although it's you know it's a uh, light outside, you also put lights in, but it also brings all of the outdoor light in, so you can't really say if it's properly lit or not. So uh, that's why I always like to furnish in a uh, night time, uh, because for the very reason, because lights are the only source of light, and uh, it, you know, I, then I can see if everything is properly lit up, you know, if you can see everything during the night. So here I'm putting, um, this is like the living area or living room space. Uh, so I went with uh, this light wood. I, well, I, I like it. So um, it's simple as that. I like it. Uh, I, I don't think I ever used like this type of like light wood uh, in any of my builds. Uh, this might be the first time. But uh, thankfully, uh, uh, all the pretty much all furniture actually had this white wood type. So I didn't really, you know, spend too much time figuring out, oh, which furniture is gonna fit this. So it all just went so smoothly and uh, it was pretty good. So, uh, yeah, so there we go, putting back, I wanted to put this armchair there, but I, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't use those as, you know, seen for, like, the desk, so. Uh, yeah, there we go, uh, replacing this with the bar, uh, f <laughs> figuring out which one would, like, fit it. Uh, yeah, it, it was a hassle, but you know, uh, this one fitted somewhat good, but I really don't like the brown um, top on it. But of course, um, that was the only thing that uh, matched the closest to the counters. So yeah, th this upstairs is the bathroom and the bedroom, so if your sims need to go to the bathroom or anything, uh, yeah, they do have to go from outside to go inside again. Um, because of course uh, I mentioned it, I mentioned this before. Uh, there's not a sweet spot <laughs> in the house that would match perfectly with the floor above where stairs could fit in. So uh, I just wanted to avoid that hassle of finding a sweet spot and just put uh, stairs outside. Also, it looks a little bit more like the tree house uh, th now than it would uh, look if everything is meant for. Of course, inside. And also, this tree house is not the only thing on the lot. I will also be adding a pool downstairs. So that uh, downstairs or on the ground floor. So that's gonna be fun. Also, I added this walk-in closet. I never used these. I just when I was putting them in, I was like, oh, I have to use it. But then I first I thought uh, like there's not like a one by two tile uh, walk-in closet. I only thought these were like super long ones. You don't really have like shorter ones. But I found it, so that was a great, I uh, definitely love it. Definitely one of my favorite items in the game. So yeah, putting the TV here, because of course you have have to have a TV in the room. Um, so yeah, putting a carpet, I as much as I love this uh, new feature where you can scale up carpets, 
uh, I wish I could like shrink down the larger carpets because I really love the look of some carpets that are that are just too big for this room and I would really love to love to use them but I can't because they're too big so I wish I could just like shrink them down a little bit you know so they would fit the size but unfortunately you can only scale up objects and not shrink them uh, uh, not no scale them down from their original size this is the master bathroom stash, the only bathroom in this entire house. Uh, so putting the, the toilet in here. So there we go. This is like the fully functional uh, master bathroom and the only bathroom. So uh, yeah, I also uh, added these uh, beautiful uh, edges there. I thought these would look pretty nice there just to like uh, finish off like these uh, corners so they're not empty. But... Uh, I, I didn't really keep them because they had a weird glitch uh, uh, when I put the sink. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, they overlap with the sink and it was really annoying. So, uh, yeah, that idea didn't go very well and I just had to get rid of them. So it just made my life a bit easier. So putting the mirror mirror up there, some, some plants, you know, you need some plants, you know, just to, like, you know, have some oxygen in the room. Um, although you have a window so you could just open that up but anyway also added this carpet I really love this carpet and I added these um, a yellowish strips there uh, I thought that would look nice so that would look like uh, it's made out of metal and it's reflecting the light from uh, the uh, bathroom because it is kind of yellowish it's not like neutral white so um, yeah so here we are outside uh, this is the second floor there putting a uh, actual fence that I meant to do, I meant to put, because, you know, you just can't do anything. Uh, also here, I put the fence up, up over here on top, but I will um, eventually uh, add an actual roof there. Uh, also, that was like the most hardest part of this entire house, putting the roof, because the top floor is so weirdly shaped. It's in the shape of a, like a triangle, but it has like softened edges, uh, but it was a hassle. It was so... It just, it was so horrible to like make a roof because it was possible like to make a perfectly shaped roof on that shaped room. So, yeah, putting the trees in, I think I'll be also removing them uh, again. I know, just continuously adding them and removing them because I still have to build stuff and I can't really see it unless I remove them. So also I didn't really make any sweet spots uh that i want to uh those sweet spots uh, sweet angles i would like to call them uh for the house where you could just like move like camera to like a specific angle and then you could see a house like with no problem any trees there wouldn't be trees in the way uh but i actually didn't really have time to do this uh, i just wanted, i just wanted it to get it done that's like the worst part you start building a house you're not you're nice and happy and then when you're almost done you just have that just that one room left to furnish you're just like ah oh, i just want to get it done so uh yeah i had that feeling and uh yeah but this house was built under two hours which is pretty good usually it takes me like around two hours but this was built under two hours so that's great just putting a little pathway there to the um uh, front of the lot so that was great i wanted to put like the sand that it had uh in like in the actual world but i couldn't find the matching one this is the one that i found the closest and there's the pool also i added a little bit of the uh get together touch in it i added these new uh they're called natural pools uh you'll see uh why they're called natural in the second or um or five seconds there we go uh, I really love these pools. Definitely one of my favorites. If you want to like, if you want to make a pool that's not surrounded by tiles or anything, just on the pure grass, uh, natural pools are definitely the way to go. I really love how they look like on like the actual ground on the grass and dirt. Just, just great. Look at this, like stunning. Also, this uh, green water, you know, so you know it's like reflecting all of the greenery that's surrounded by and uh, yeah also there's this beautiful uh pile log pile so you could definitely use that in this house you don't have a fireplace but I'm, you i'm pretty sure you could use it for this thing the barbecue air, uh, stuff so yeah unless it's powered by gas <laughs> powered by gas in which case you can't really use it 
But you could definitely put like a uh, thing, you know, if you have outdoor living, I... Uh, what? Outdoor living? What? Uh, sorry, outdoor retreat. Uh, I'm not sure how it is it called, but... Um, you know, it's uh, pretty much like a place where you can light a fire and you can put chairs over and, you know, around it. Um, yeah, a fireplace, but, you know, just for outdoor purpose. So, yeah, here we are just... Uh, doing some final touches to it and then we're gonna oh, oh yeah don't forget that roof though you don't forget that roof so <laughs> there you go this is the part where I start building the roof and I hate it so much um, it's just horrible there we go so you can see I started making the uh, trees were in the way I deleted the trees and I just, just it was so uh, the one thing that really was annoying it was a uh, to connect uh, the edges uh, of the roof properly because uh, there were not like a 90 degree angle there were more like 45 degree angles so they were really hard they were impossible to, to, to connect together you'll see it in a second there you go as I stretch this across as you can see these two edges just couldn't oh so <laughs> sorry these two edges just couldn't like join together perfectly there was just that weird gap and it just it was just impossible to do it. So in this I just used these uh, one-sided roof this one-sided roof You know where it's like open like you know where it's an actual one on one side. There's like a roof and then on the other side is like a wall This one there we go. I'm putting it in. I don't know how it's called. I don't know roof types So don't judge me. So putting this one in this one was much easier to work with so this one I was just done like in a second with it. I mean, well, not literally in the second, but I was done. You know, this uh, the last one was impossible. So uh, you know, I'm putting it back in uh, because it fit perfectly in here. So uh, yeah, and after the roof is done, I think we're gonna hop over into screenshots. So that's gonna be nice. So of course, don't forget you can download this house on the gallery. Uh, link to that will be in uh, the uh, description down below. Uh, as long as don't forget to yeah as long as with all the links where you can follow me at I meant to say them right now So you can follow me on uh, Facebook facebook.com slash the Liam Mikovic show on Twitter twitter.com slash Liam Oh, nope. Yeah, I, I knew it. And I I was about to say it and I knew it, but I just said it So uh, I just recently changed my Twitter handle. So it's twitter.com slash direct Zeon it's not Liam Benkovic anymore. Although I'm pretty sure all my descriptions say Liam Benkovic either, either what? Either <laughs> even though uh, I changed it to Dragon Sion. So this is how the final product looks like in its full gloriness. I just wish I could paint uh, the ceiling uh, or like just put flooring on the ceiling. As you can see, it just this white part, you know, the ceiling just sticks out. I wish I could put it in the wood. But I can't, because guess what Sims 4 does allow you to do exactly that. So, uh, yeah, there you go. This is how it would look like if you go upstairs. This is the first floor uh, where you have all the stuff. So, um, that's like, this is the living room. Of course, you can, uh, I'm pretty sure you could fit up to three Sims in here. Uh, maybe if you could, like, fit another bed somewhere. If you, if you remove that walk-in closet, you could definitely fit, uh, like, a third bed, bed there. And you could live with three sims in this house, which would be pretty cool. So yeah, there's definitely room for a third one. But I just didn't want to make everything look even more cramped than it already is. So this is uh, these are floor plans. Uh, you won't see much, but you know, it's just there for looks. So thank you very much guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be back next time. And until then, I'm Leon. And remember, happy simming.